Okay, so, uh, in the end, my review is that if you're not going to build a computer, or you have some knowledge of computers, um, but you don't want to, you don't want to just go out and build, build it yourself. I mean, this is a good computer, uh, as long as you put like the 7670 in it, at least do that. I mean, if you're going to go with this, at least do the 7670 because they only charge you like $20 extra for it and then thirty dollars more for the four hundred and sixty watt power supply um, so i would say at least at least get that and then and then this would be a, this would be good for editing for yeah for editing for a little bit of gaming i mean you're not going to go much higher than lower medium settings for most games for today but you know i mean you'll still be able to do a little bit of gaming a little bit of editing um, It'd be a good all-around computer. I mean, but if you if you're gonna upgrade it to like for gaming, like I have, like I I do obviously I do video game uh, commentary and stuff like that. Um, so I upgraded to a 7850. By the way, perfect in here. And if you have the 460 watt power supply, it has the uh, the power uh, PS PSI or. Uh, I'm not even going to pretend that I know what it's called. The the power plug-in for the graphics card. <laughs> I blanked. Um, so, I'd say at least go with that because then it gives you a little bit of option for upgradability later because you have the 460 watt power supply and it has that power plug-in. Uh, you only get one on that, but uh, it does have it. So, overall, I'd give this like a 9 out of 10 for a pre-built. Um, as long as you put that 7670 in it, it is a good home computer that can do a little bit of everything. Uh, personally, the, the processor is really good at video rendering because it's a 6-core. Um, 6-cores and 8-cores, those are the AMD 6 and 8-cores are really good at video editing. And if, if you were building a machine that was just gaming, uh, I'd say go Intel, but, you know. Um, for video editing, AMD's processors do really good, and for gaming, they will they will do it too, because uh, it's not all about the graphics card. Um, so I say, yeah, just don't don't spend the money on the Nvidia and the AMD. If you get this, just go with that 7670, and then save up and later put a better graphics card in it, because it literally is. You can look up a video. It literally is. You just unscrew the back, you know. Uh, the little latch thing that comes off and then you just carefully pull out the old one put in the new one and you plug in whatever power you need to to get it to work and that's it and you just start it up and you just follow you know the instructions that come with the graphics card so that's my quick uh, not so quick review <laughs> um, if you got any questions I mean just message me or leave a comment because like I said, I've had it for a couple months. I bought it before any sales or any Christmas hoopla or anything like that. Um, so, if you have any questions about, you know, temps or parts or components or, you know, what to do, maybe maybe you want to buy a different. You're comparing two computers. I can I might be able to help you if you've got a concern or a question about this computer. Um, I'm not going to pretend like I know it all, but I will try to help whoever comments. I always do. Um, and I appreciate every one of my subs and on all you guys that sub and watch my videos. I want to let you know that I appreciate it. And uh, I do plan on giving things away later, and I don't really know what they might be. Um, but I do plan on giving things away at some point. Um, who knows what they'll be. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like, please, please rate. I mean, thumb up or thumb down. It lets me know, you know, if you appreciate it or you think it's shit. See you guys in the next episode.